Hey guys, so as some of you know, last week I had an unexpected accident to the head. I was surfing, a somewhat big wave came along, someone in front of me let her board go fly and its fins ended up locating my head in the water. <laughs> I'm gonna show you now what was happening at the hospital for those who aren't good with blood and you know, open stuff. <laughs> this is where you want to skip forwards. Are you ready? Okay, let's go! Yeah, so that's what that looks like now. <laughs> it's doing alright. I didn't share those moments with you just to freak you out. It's really just to provide a context to the thoughts that's been running through my head since that has happened. By the way, in case you ever need a hospital in Bali, I ended up at Rumah Sakit Bali Jimbaran and I was very happy with the care and treatment I received and the affordable pricing. So, 13 stitches and 4 hours later, I'm finally back at home and I'm just here, tired, frightened, hurt and over and over in my head, I was just replaying the horrific moments and I was totally consumed with so many negative feelings. Self-pity like, oh my god, why me? <laughs> Disbelief, angst at the pain, upset about the resulting losses and setbacks that's seemingly for no reason, out of nowhere. Financial, right, my hospital and medical bills my health and vitality, not being able to do my usual life for the next two weeks at least, not going out and about because I can't wear a helmet with this phone, feeling upset that whilst it was someone else's error or lack of ability, however unintentional, that resulted in my hurt and pain, but she's just gone on to continue her life as normal as if nothing happened. and. I'm left to deal with this mess by myself. <laughs> that was this horrible negative thought cycle circling around and around in my head. It got me thinking, what are we supposed to do when something bad happens unexpectedly? Is there a right way of dealing with it? A psychological prescription at least, cause mentally I was not in a happy place. <laughs> With a bit more time, again and again, my mind kept throwing up reminders of much bigger, worse things that are happening elsewhere in the world that's been so, so sad. There was a really bad accident in Singapore, for example. It was recent, it involved a van and two motorcycles. One of the victims, the food delivery rider, he passed away living behind a pregnant widow. The other victim is now hospitalised in intensive care, his family in shock and grief. There's the war in Ukraine happening, with thousands of lives lost and many more injured. Millions of ordinary people displaced from their homes and lives. The other ongoing wars and conflicts for the past many years. Syria, Somalia, recently Myanmar. Rationally, when my own tiny minuscule pains and scares started to subside, perspective kicks in. And then my stupid silly accident <laughs> starts looking really like a peanut compared to all those many people having real problems out there. And definitely much more empathy for the problems that other people face. Sometimes, even though it's hard to admit, when our lives are all so comfortable and stable and okay and full of simple blessings, we do forget what it's like to not be okay. And then there's the idea of acceptance. By that I mean taking a mental step back, being okay with knowing that even though you have very different plans for your own life for the next 2-3 weeks, that the universe, or maybe God, <laughs> depending on your own inclinations, had a very different idea for that period of time than you. And right now there's nothing you can do but to go with the flow. And all this makes me wonder about the idea of resilience in life. How people go through catastrophes and losses, how they don't surrender and give up and wallow in self-pity and blame and anger, how they go through and get past it and bounce back to regular life. 
another thought came to me that I really liked and that I wanted to share with you guys and it is that thought that I wouldn't want to let anything whatever bad thing that has happened or may happen to me in future stop the flow of life my energy, my happiness, my gratitude, my health, my vitality the thought that perhaps this attitude is the best rejection of the setback life has handed me not actually letting it set me back emotionally and psychologically as much as I can even though the other losses I can't do anything about you know, I mean, yes, the money's gone, the physical injury is there, it will take time to heal but the emotional and psychological part, this I can manage I can refuse to let all the negative waves sweep over me and consume me no matter how good it can feel to be self-indulgent mm. to refuse to surrender to the circumstances that have befallen me ultimately it seems like true resilience is putting yourself together and moving on viewing the bad stuff merely as a factual point in the past nothing more and more importantly it's over and committing yourself to creating even better moments from this starting point this new starting point even if the location of this starting point right now is different from where we thought we would be once upon a time acceptance then seems to me like being open to these alternative life circumstances that's been thrown at us to be open to seeing the light in these new circumstances as well and letting go of our original plans for ourselves for this time period of course, <laughs> all that being said, ultimately I know, I know this silly thing that has happened to me is a small child's play incident in the face of the world's large and huge scary problems. It's incomparable. And I know it only seems like such a scary bad thing because I've been so lucky to live such a blessed, safe and uneventful life so far. Obviously, for all those people who just love spending their time putting out negativity online and trolling people I know I'm going to get a lot of flake for this video <laughs> but for the rest of you forgive me for my indulgence in making this video I just thought this is something that is worthy to share you know because for people who are maybe like you know stuck on self-pity and misery or just temporarily suspended in a maze of ugly feelings if this video can just help give you an idea of some way out of that maze mentally then i guess posting this online will have been worth whatever negative step comes along with it watch this like this share this whatever um because only you can judge if this is a few thought-worthy minutes of your time or maybe it's just me ruminating too much <laughs> but anyway obviously because of what happened we couldn't go out to shoot something as usual for today's video sorry about that but we'll definitely be back in regular action by next saturday so i guess speak again soon next saturday then and in the meantime you take care stay safe I'm wishing you happy days until we meet again. Bye-bye. <laughs>